Now, one of the most common reasons for no water is going to be directly related to your pressure switch. Typically, that's going to be found in your basement or in your crawl space is where I'm at now. Now, if you remove your pressure switch, and if you have any questions on this, I have videos directly correlated with these. But since I found this problem and it's so common, I wanted to show you. I have videos on how to install these and how to wire these. You'll just have to check it out. Now, if you're having intermittent water problems, like you're in the shower and the water stops, and then 30 seconds, couple minutes later, it magically comes back on, typically this is why. It's not the switch. It's this nipple. So if we come here and we look, you see all the buildup on the inside of that? Well, the water pressure has to be able to go through this nipple and reach the diaphragm that is right here. And it's got to push against that diaphragm. The diaphragm ends up pushing on this lever here, which pushes against the spring, which then opens up these contacts here. So in this situation here, the nipple was plugged up and the water pressure would drop all the way to zero. And then a few minutes later, it would allow this a little bit of bypass and water, it would, it would click and then it would work again. Now, it can actually have the reverse effect it can actually stop the pump from running. So it will just stay on because say your pump builds 50 pounds of pressure, it's supposed to cut off. Well, it doesn't cut off because it can't read the pressure. So then your pressure goes from 50 to 70 to 90 to 110 to 120 until something explodes. Typically, it's gonna be a pipe under the house or it's gonna be that little hose on the back of the toilet because that hose is normally like a nylon hose. It's built for you know, 60, 80 PSI, but it's not built for 110 or 120 PSI, which a pump can actually build. So these nipples right here are the culprit a lot of the times. But be careful when you go to take it off, all the wires that go to your switch are gonna have 240 volts on it. So be sure to turn your breaker off. So how do you fix it? You can take a screwdriver, just take your screwdriver, and jam it through it and pull it back out and it will clear the obstruction. I hope this video was informative. If it was, please give me a, a, a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Have a good one. All right, we have our new switch installed and now the system should be ready to go.